Chubbs with the Central Texas Food Bank joins us this evening. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Derek, uh, we got to know you a lot uh, last year with all the uh, problems we had uh, with the pandemic and the economic collapse for many folks. And it looks like uh, 2020 is bleeding into part of 2021 now with a lot of people out of work because of the cold snap and in addition to the other problems. I'm sure your uh, agency is uh, just getting uh, hammered with uh, the need from people that are coming to you to get food. Yes, they are. Yes, we are. And uh, we're, you know, we're seeing, uh, again, you know, pretty heavy uh, levels of need. We're still uh, 30 to 40 percent higher than pre-pandemic levels. So it has literally carried into 2021. You know, unfortunately, now that we're having you know, this you know, extremely difficult weather, you know, we have had to cancel our distributions since this past Friday. Uh, and Maynard and Waco and in Saturday, on, you know, on this past Saturday, yesterday in Fredericksburg and Kyle. And uh, we've already decided that we will not be able to do our you know, traditional distributions on well into Wednesday of this week. Uh, we won't be able to distribute tomorrow in Luling. We won't be able to distribute uh, in Creedmoor and Waco on, on Tuesday or at LBJ or in Mejia or Cameron. Uh, on Wednesday of this week. Uh, what we're hoping is that, you know, we're able to get people back into our warehouse and, uh, and start preparing for distributions on Thursday. But, it, but typically we put 26 trucks on the road every morning, uh, but for the safety of our clients and our staff and our volunteers who are simply unable to get to us uh, to conduct one of these distributions, uh, we're going to have to slow things down just a bit. And I imagine your stock has has taken a hit too, with with so many delivery drivers having issues getting supply to and from places. Uh, are you guys anticipating any sort of a need on the food end of things? Well, so far, you know, we have been able to you know stock food appropriately. So as we are having this conversation tonight, uh, we're in pretty good shape. Typically, things drop in January, but we've had some donors step up and. Uh, retail donors step up and help us considerably during the month or in the first part of this year. But as I said, that's a statement of today. This could very well change from a supply chain perspective as we see this ripple effect impacting so many of our food donors across the country. So we could be having a totally different conversation as early as Friday of this week. And I know uh, donations are absolutely critical uh, from the, the major pit folks putting in their food uh, and the, just the people at home watching us that uh, like to give the food bank a sack of groceries here and there. What would you tell them? I would say we are in need of volunteers right now. If there is a need that's at the top of the list, yeah, there are things that the pandemic is still carried over, things like trying to minimize the risk, maintaining social distancing, the fact that we've had to reduce the number of volunteers that we bring into the building by 70%. So we're in need of volunteers still. Uh, simply go to our website, centraltexasfoodbank.org and sign up because we're really going to have to ramp up heavily once this bad weather is behind us and we'll definitely need volunteers very badly. And, and Derek, we know, you know, your hands are kind of tied right now with the weather being what it is. Any advice yeah. for, for people who, who might be struggling the next few days, they can't get to a distribution. Uh, is there any guidance for those folks who, who might need some help um, the next few days? Well, I would say for now, yeah. you, can, you can certainly dial 211. And 211 has access to every place that is available that is still distributing food. While we're not doing our traditional mobile pantries for safety reasons, we still have a network of 250 partner agencies uh, throughout our 21 county area. I would say simply go to the go to our website, centraltexasfoodbank.org. There's a button there that you can punch and say that says find food now. Punch that button in your zip code. And every place that we traditionally distribute food, particularly our partner agencies, will show up, I would say reach out to them. Some of them we know are open because people can gain access to them closer because they're right there in their neighborhoods. CentralTexasFoodBank.org, find food now. 
You guys do such great work, and we appreciate all your extra help during this time. Derek Chubbs with Central Texas Food Bank. Thanks for being with us this evening. Thanks for helping us get the word out. We appreciate you.